Happy Friday! It is May 1st, 2020. And I thought that we would end this week on a fantastic book. I have been so excited to read this story to you guys for a while. This story is an adventure book. It's an adventure book. It's the adventures of Beagle, the unimaginary friend. Now, we've heard probably the words imaginary before. And imaginary means that we use our imaginations. That's right. And sometimes when we're using our imaginations and we're playing pretend, we'll pretend that we have a friend that maybe nobody else can see and we play with him and... That's who Beagle was supposed to be. He was supposed to be somebody's imaginary friend. But sometimes the best friends lie beyond our imagination. We're going to read this story today and find out how Beagle became an unimaginary friend. Where he traveled to, what his adventures were, and at the end, you can talk to your parents about the different events of the story. So the things that took place during the story. Not the setting, because the setting is going to change. But the events, so what happened in the story. <clears throat> All right, ready? He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here, they played, they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Sorry, guys, I kind of got stumbled right there. <clears throat> Every night, he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. Look, somebody must have picked that one. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. Look, all of his friends are gone and it's just him. His mind filled with the thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So, rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend, gave him the courage to journey on. So he left his island, he got on a boat, and look what's underneath his boat. It's a big whale. Until he reached the real world. So he left his imaginary island behind, and now he's in the real city. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he couldn't find his friend. So where is he right now? He's at a playground, it looks like. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. See, all those boys and girls are coming, but they can't see him because only his special friend can see him. 
He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello. Just coming down, handing her some paper. Her face was friendly and familiar and there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before. After a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Beekle and Alice had many new adventures. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel less and less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. The end. So, where did Beekle start and where did he end up? How did he get there? What were some of the events that happened in the story? See if you can remember and talk to mom and dad about them today. You guys have a great day today and enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.